Ladies and gentle gamers, welcome back to 2B Determined. Today we have the super crafting update that has been released on the main server. If you guys didn't see this on alpha, don't worry, we're going to go over the whole thing today. But I will go ahead and tell you, if you don't have a rank, you're not in luck. This update is only for VIP and higher ranks. So apologies if you don't have a rank. Without further ado, let's jump straight into it. All right, so if we look at our regular crafting table, there's not really anything different. There's nothing we can craft right now. Our quick crafting slots haven't really changed, at least as they appear. Now, there are a few things that have changed, actually, with the quick crafting. For instance, if we have a bunch of hay bales in our inventory and we go to the crafting table, you can see there's this new more quick craft options. So this shows all the things that we can craft for the things in our inventory instead of just the normal three things. If we click on this, you can see all possible things that you can craft. So we can see everything we can craft for the hay bales. If we take something else and put that in our inventory, like ender pearls, for example, then you can see we've got the enchanted ender pearls here and whatever else we have in our inventory, it will show up what we can craft with it right here. Now, this is the minor part of the update. The big part is the super crafting part. So super crafting, you can access by typing slash recipe and then whatever option you want to craft. So let's say, for example, a Terminator. So you look up Term and it shows up Terminator right here. And you can see whether or not you have any of the ingredients to craft it. I have zero. But we could also say, let's go with a Storm set. So with Storm, it shows we have none of the ingredients for this. But Storm can be made multiple ways. This one's with the Weather Helmet. If you click on the next recipe down here, you can see you can make it with a Necron's helmet, which I do happen to have one lying around. Or you can click over again, Goldor, Maxor, and you can see whether or not you can make it. Now, it's not just items that that is available with. So we can do slash recipe wheat and it'll show the wheat hoe, the wheat minions. So you can make minions up with this as well if you want to. So that'll make that a lot easier. Or we could go with ender pearls like we had a moment ago and do enchanted ender pearls. And it shows we have way more than what we need for this. So if you're doing this with items like these where you're wanting to craft a ton of them, you can right click and set the amount you want to craft. So we'll go with 100. Now that's too many, so it won't let us craft with that. But if we go down to an item number that we can craft with like 50, you just click that and boom, it instantly crafts it. And if we look in our sacks, we now have 50 more enchanted ender pearls than we had before. So basically, crafting flips have pretty much been ruined by this update. So if that was your main way of making money, it's probably gonna make a lot less now. It used to be that molten powder was a really good crafting flip. So you'd make a decent amount of money from just crafting these, buying the materials for them, crafting them, and then selling them as molten powder. But now if you look at the price of the, these things, it's 132,000 coins for the Amalgamated Crimsonite, 307,000 coins for the Derelict Ash. So it does actually at this moment still make like 100,000 coins per, but the update literally just dropped like five minutes ago. So this method will not last for long. Now, as far as quick crafting goes with special recipes, we'll take, for example, iron pickaxes into lapis pickaxes. We can go ahead and go in our quick crafting and craft all of these pickaxes into iron pickaxes. And you can see our options disappear as we go along. So if we enchant each of these pickaxes with something different, let's go with smelting touch one on this one, fortune one on this one, silk touch on this one, and efficiency on that one. And then we look up the recipe for a lapis pickaxe. It costs eight stacks of lapis and an iron pickaxe. And you click it again and again and again. These are all lapis pickaxes now. So it does appear to go by the order they are in your inventory so the first one in the first slot but let's say they're in different places if we do the same enchants on this set as we did on the last one and then we throw them in random spots so let's have one in our backpack here let's put one in an ender chest and then we'll have one in our hot bar one in our inventory and then we go to the recipe it still shows our options here but it now actually shows five because i did have an iron pickaxe lying around in my ender chest and it appears to have just updated and realized that i had that so that may be an issue that you have at the start of this update make sure you open all of your ender chests and backpacks and just swap through them real quick so that the super crafting update knows what you have and then we'll try this. So the first one we do is the one in our hotbar. Second one we do is the one in our inventory. The third one, let's see which one it took. It will take it and put it in your inventory. But the third one was the first one in our ender chest. I'm guessing the next one will be the second one in our ender chest. Let's take a look. Yep, that one's gone now. And then the last one will have to be the one that was in our backpack right here. 
it is gone. So you can see the order that it will go. It will go first off what's in your hotbar, second whatever's in your inventory, starting from top left to bottom right. And I'm guessing it'll be the same for hotbar left to right. And then it will go to the first page of your ender chest and then from left to right there first page of your backpacks left to right there. Now that is a pretty specific case, but if you're making, let's say a bunch of weather helmets into storm helmets and you have some different ones with different stars and things, you wanna make sure which one you want to craft. I would recommend not using super crafting. I would just use regular crafting. It's a lot simpler and you'll know for a fact which one is getting crafted. There were a couple bug fixes with this update as well and uh, some dialogue changes. So. They recently changed the way the lava shell necklace is worded. It works the same way, but it used to say it would stop you from healing, period, I believe. And now it just says it stops your health regen, mending, and vitality. So you can still heal with Wand of Atonement and other things. Overflex Power Orb, which heals for 2.5% of your max health per second. But the granting vitality and mending part, that still won't work. Hopefully the next time we're talking about an update, we're talking about the forging update. I know we've gotten a lot of QOL updates recently, and I don't dislike QOL updates, but I'm really hoping we get a big content update soon. If you guys are too, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe so you, when it does finally happen, you'll be notified when I make a video on it. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Y'all have a great day and God bless.